Should be in here. Yo, Umich here, and today we're going to look at 89 rated fancy for Alexander Izak. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, he has high low work rates, his preferred fit is right, and he's got a 5 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. He's currently coming in at around 650,000 coins on the market. This is an expensive card, don't get me wrong, but it is an upgradable card. So the upgrade pattern works if he gets 1 win in the next 6 games, it's a plus 1. Three appearances in the next six games, it's another plus one. Two goals or assists in the next six games, it's another plus one. And if they avoid defeat completely in the next six games, it is another plus one. Plus three new traits. This is starting from 17th of March and only counts the domestic fixtures. So you definitely expect him to get some upgrades. Newcastle have been pretty good indeed this season. He can play striker or centre forward. His club, as I said, Newcastle. He's got the Premier League links and the Swedish links. I've decided to stick a hawk on him. Just wanted to boost his pace shooting and physicals really so his pace looks nice with the hawk acceleration up to 93 sprint speed up to 98 he should be fast he is the controlled accelerate type no matter what can style you put on him at the moment his shooting looks very good with a five star weak foot i'm expecting his shooting to be great to be honest i mean shot power 98 with the hawk i do like that 92 finishing not bad at all 96 finishing 93 long shots his passing i mean short passing 85 not the worst dribbling I mean, he's a big man, but I don't expect him to be too stiff. Agility 88, balance 73, reactions 88, ball control 95, dribbling 94, very good. Composure 85, that could be a bit higher. He's got 97 heading accuracy with 88 jumping. Being 6 foot 4, he should be very good in the air. Stamina 86, might get tired towards the end of the game. Strength 89 with the Hawk, that is good. Aggression a bit low though, 66 with the Hawk. Here's some information on the upgrade pattern. You can pause it here if you'd like. And he's got a flair, speed dribbler and outside foot shot traits. I'll be playing him up front in a 4-2-3 on narrow in this team. So yeah, let's see how he plays. Tripped over early on. Oh, decent effort there. Oh, just over there. He feels quite good on the ball early on, Isaac. That's a lovely pass. Oh, Ben Rama, open goal. Fatality. And he's gone. Good balance there. Could be in here. Oh, Maldini's just come across. Corner kick. Good play there. That was a lovely play. Just can't get onto it. Into the box. Ah, I'm disappointed he missed that one. Oh, is that manhandled? Oh, great hold up play there. Into the box. Ben Rama's there for the tap in. Quick turnaround. Two goals in about two minutes. Oh, that was beautiful. Ben Rama's on it. Ah, just out-muscled him. Lovely play from Isaac there. Getting it to Ben Rama. He's gone to this one. Oh, keeper stayed back. Was going to come out, but probably should have come out. Fatality. And he's gone. A bit clumsy in the middle there. Oh, that's a lovely finish with the left foot of Isaac. Edge of the box. The passenger play deserved a goal. And they got one. Oh, Isaac's in. Near post. Don't move your keeper, lads. Quick turnaround. Two goals in two minutes again. Ooh, Rocky in at the near post from Isaac. Edge of the box. Left foot again. Good finish. Oh, I thought I was floating into the corner. Got lucky there, but I was trying to pass it to him. Into the box. Timed. That shouldn't be going wide. Bit disappointing. That's a lovely pass. Good weight on it. That's a nasty goal. I mean, assist for is that. That was all Mbappe, though. <laughs> 
is that collecting the match ball. I mean, eight or ten, three goals, that's not the worst, is it? Lovely. Right foot. Ooh, top left corner. Almost lifted the goal up. 2 0. Should be in here. Oh, that's a better time. Definitely on the right foot. Flew past the keep into the side netting. 3 0. Lovely Ben Rama. Isaac in the box. Oh, saved by the keeper. Oh, oh, no, it's too, oh, the angle is too tough there. Oh, I can't get it past check. Lovely. What can we do here? Isaac, got to win that. Yes, lovely from Ben Rama on the right-hand side. Isaac, easy header, open header, back of the net. Look at that. Oh, he missed. Oh, off the post. Thought it was in. Great footwork from Isaac in the box, though, even though he missed. Lovely, Isaac. Good pass. Good weight. Nakata's in. Keepers out. Oh, that's a lovely finesse near post. This is for Isaac. He's really good at linking up play up top. So after six games, you've got seven goals, three assists with Isaac. Not a bad return at all from the striker position. And if you want to see more FIFA 23 player reviews on the latest players, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. But how good is Isaac? Well, he's definitely very good. However, he's just a bit awkward. I think you have to get used to him. By the way, I went for 640k. He's down at near 400k now, so I'm losing a lot of my coins trying this card out. Oh, it hurts a lot. So I'd appreciate if you liked this video just for my pain. But yeah, he's just a bit awkward. You're going to have to get used to him. But I think once you get used to him, he's a really good sort of target man. He's a, he's, yeah, he's just really awkward up top. Not in a bad way, just awkward. You need to get used to him. Pace, he's definitely fast. With the hawk is boosted up near 99. So yeah, he has enough pace. It's not sort of the old school lengthy pace, but he definitely has a decent amount of pace he's got good acceleration as well his shooting i did miss a couple of chances that i was disappointed with however on the whole his shooting is great and of course that is made better with the five star weak foot left foot right foot it doesn't really matter his dribbling i put an asterisk there because he is a bit clumsy as mentioned in the cons however his actual dribbling with the ball is very good he can turn quite well especially for a big man and his passing i mean he did some good passes to me some good link up play I passed it out to him a few times, held L2, LT and shielded and held off the defenders and gave a nice pass in behind for one of the right or left cams. So yeah, his passing is pretty good. I know the stats aren't great, but I didn't really feel anything wrong with it, especially for the striker position. Con's aggression, he is a little bit passive. Sometimes you have to get him involved. He's not sort of uh, destroying players up top, is he? But yeah, aggression, mm, you do feel it a little bit. And as I said, he's a little bit clumsy. You have to get used to him. But I've given him a 9 out of 10. I mean, now he's near 400k. It's more reasonable. I can't believe I paid 640 for this card. But we are where we are. This card can be upgraded, of course. I do expect this card to get at least two upgrades. So, yeah, this card could get a lot better than it is now. But as it is, 400k this, I'm giving him a 9 out of 10. Good card. But... I've been stung by the price. Maybe wait for him to see if he comes down a bit more. But these live cards, you never really know. But again, this is all my opinion. Please like, subscribe and comment in the comment section. I will get back to you. Take care.